Alright, I just wanted to show y'all real quick a really easy way for you to do your own blueprints. Uh, what I got here is graph paper. And what I've done is I have made the size of the graph paper the size of the house I want to build or the barn dominium I want to build. So it is overall, I have 50 foot overall of shop space, 50 this way by 50 this way. So I have 50 little blocks. Each little square is one square foot so that this will be an actual exact copy of how the house is to be built. So for instance, I have the, I cut these little pieces of paper out and on the back side, I, I just doubled over some regular Scotch tape so I can stick them and move them around wherever I want to. This one I haven't taped yet. Uh, these are taped on. So, um, but anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And for instance, I, I cut this out. Now, a car is only approximately eight foot wide by approximately six uh, 16 foot long, but I have cut these out, um, 10, 10 foot by, well, 10 squares by 18 blocks. So, uh, 18 squares. So this will actually take up a little bit more room than a car, but you obviously want room around your car. So that's why I did that. Now over here, like, you know, for the kitchen, the living room, um, this one's the master bedroom. This is a uh, bedroom number two, master bath, hall bath. Um, some of these I just have, I flipped these over because I messed up. So, um, they are labeled on the other side, but anyway, I'm just laying these all out and then I can start to draw in like here. You can see, I started to draw in, uh, cabinets. Cabinets are, um, two foot, they come out two foot from the wall. The countertop comes out 25 inches, so it, it sticks out another inch, but um, you don't really need to take an account for that. Here, what I've done is I've put in a large corner pantry and then just stop the cabinets here. But anyway, that's that's where I you know started drawing stuff in. Um, before I messed up over here, I had drawn in all the closets, drawn the bathroom in, the toilets. I mean, I've drawn everything in, but I decided I didn't like the layout and um, I'm still working on it. I still don't like it. I'm still going to move things around, but I just wanted to show y'all a really quick and easy way to do your own blueprints. Um, obviously, this is not the structural um, not even architectural, really. It's just the layout of your house. Um, now I can teach y'all how to do that as well, but this is most important because you can't figure out your electrical, your plumbing, um, even really the exterior of the building or anything until you know what you want. I knew what size I wanted my house, so I'm just making everything fit that. Um, but you got to know everything you want to put in there and what size it is to make sure you can fit it in there and lay it out the way you want to. So this is a super easy way to just cut out. Say you want your master bedroom to be 13 foot by 13 foot. Then you just cut out a sheet of graph paper, 13 squares by 13 squares, and you lay it down in your, you know, uh, whatever size house layout you got lay it out inside there now one thing you want to make sure is see how i've got this double line well the way i'm going to build it it's actually not going to be quite one foot thick walls that'd be probably more like uh eight to ten inches but i took out i went 50 by 50 right but then i come in one foot so i lost a foot all the way around and you will too. So if you say, oh, I'm going to build my house 50 by 50, well, you need to take into account the thickness of the walls. And then also when you go like, you, let's say you um, have a wall in between your living room and your bathroom. Well, typically that's going to take up about four and a half inches. So you need to take that into account. 
you have uh, three and a half inches for your two by four, and then you have sheetrock of a half inch on each side. So typically it's gonna be four and a half inches that that wall is gonna take up. You need to make sure you account for that. But this is where we're at now. I'll keep it updated and uh, show you as we go along and I'll start doing some architectural drawings and stuff as well. Now, as y'all can tell from this, I'm no artist, <laughs> so all I can do is use graph paper and, you know, kind of throw my ideas on there, and then, you know, once you get what you want put together, you can take it to somebody that can make it look good and turn it into an actual set of blueprints, um, but that way you get exactly what you want. Now, you may take it there um, and find out that there's things you can't do. I have a construction background, so I know what I can and can't do. I know, you know, how I got to watch for the plumbing and the electricity and the thickness of the walls and door swing and what the code is and all that stuff. So uh, if you don't know all that, you'll have to do a lot of research or consult with somebody that does know all of that stuff. Okay, with all that being said, my shop, my actual shop area, you can see how it's got a solid line going down through here. So that means there's a wall in between the two. And by code, there has to be, and it has to go all the way up. Um, and it, it's got to be a fire rated wall, basically. So anyway, um, my shop area is 50 by 50. I need a lot more shop than I do house. My, sh my house area, I've just done 30 by 50. The reason for that is I would have went even smaller, but you have square footage requirements and they're different everywhere. So it just depends on where you are and even your subdivision might have a square footage requirement. So not only by county, but also by subdivision, you have to know what the square footage requirements are. Normally, in a very lax area, you can get away with 800 square feet, uh, at least down here in the south anyway. But um, And I'm sure actually even less probably up north because they tend to build much smaller up north. Um, but anyway, down here where we're looking at is uh, 1,200 square foot minimum square footage requirement. So this is actually a little bit bigger than that, but I was already... 50 foot wide building anyway. So I, I just figured I'd go 30 and I'll be, I'll be 300 square foot over, but I've, I've got a use for it. So, um, I'm just going to take part of what I was going to put in my shop, put it in the house. And then, um, that helps me get over my minimum square footage requirement. And it still gives me, um, extra shop space. So it actually worked out for the best. 